This is the 2021 Cadillac CT4V. And I want to call your attention to that letter V because if this was just a Cadillac CT4, I for one am not a fan. So the question becomes, can one little letter make a big, big difference? Let's find out. The CT4V is Cadillac's smallest luxury performance sedan. In some ways, it replaces the old ATSV, but really it's a size down and it has less performance and less power. However, it does stack up rather well against three key competitors. Those are the Audi S3, the BMW M235i Grand Coupe, and the Mercedes AMG A35. However, all three of the Germans are front wheel drive based all wheel drive sedans. This thing is rear wheel drive, which is not only more fun in lots of situations, but I argue looks better. This is an incredibly good looking rear wheel drive sedan. Like all modern Cadillacs, this is an interpretation of the Escala design language. I think it's one of the best ones they've done. The CT4V, it's really an exercise in restraint. One thing, and, and if I say anything negative, I'm really nitpicking because I do think this is an especially strong design, but these plastic placeholders here, like a fog lamp might go here, but you know, you have this DLR, so you don't really need it here. Looks and feels a little cheap. What doesn't look cheap are these wheels. They look great. Also, they're 18 inches, which is you know miniature by 2021 standards, yet Cadillac's design team has made them work, which is very cool. The dash to axle ratio is wonderful, especially on such a small sedan. The line work on this car is incredible because it's simple. It's got a simple character line, and that's all you need. You don't need to go at weird angles. Just do this. It's it's so smart. Seat pillar is fantastic. There's nothing weird. There's no odd shapes. It just does what it's supposed to do. The taillights are good. You've got four tailpipes and you've got the diffuser, which lets you know you're sitting behind a performance car, which is the way it's supposed to look. So as you can see, there's almost nothing wrong with the design of the CT4V. Good job, Cadillac. Inside the Cadillac CT4V, it's obvious that it's not the design home run that the outside is. That said, it's pretty good. Now, if you saw our CT5V video, you know I was complaining about a couple of things, but that's a more expensive car. And for a less expensive car, there's nothing here that's really offensive. And my, my main gripe in the CT5V video was what's called grain and gloss. All it means is, does this material match this material? And you know, here actually it's about 90%. It was worse than the CT5 for whatever reason. There is a lot of mixed materials here. You have leather, you have rubber that's trying to look like leather. You've got carbon fiber, you have some metal work, you have this textured plastic, but it all works. There's nothing that's like bad looking. Well, there is bad in terms of functionality and it's gonna be cute. It's, it's not bad per se, but when you compare it to the competition, what you'd get in an Audi, what you'd get in a BMW, what you'd get in that Mercedes, it's a generation behind, it's simply not good enough. That said, if you use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you know it's not that big of a deal. In terms of spaciousness, it's a bit snug, but this is the V, so it feels the way a sporty car is supposed to feel. If the interior does suffer anywhere in terms of space, it's gonna be the rear seat. Look, it's rear wheel drive that has performance benefits, but it always eats into rear passenger space. And also the trunk, it's pretty good. In the beginning I asked, can that little letter V make a big difference? Well, in terms of performance, it sure does. Under the hood, there is a 2.7 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine the same engine you can find in a Chevy Silverado pickup truck, oddly. Here it makes 325 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque. That is a lot of torque. All that twisting force, it goes into a 10-speed automatic transmission that then drives only the rear wheels. Because it's rear wheel drive only, those three Germans I mentioned earlier, they're gonna be quicker in a straight line, but not that much quicker. And then in the Cadillac, you get to turn the steering wheel, and this thing handles so much better than the Germans. It has the latest version of General Motors magnetic ride control suspension, one of the best damping systems out there. It really is a joy to drive. Should you need more power and more performance, Cadillac has you covered because a CT4V 
Blackwing is coming that makes about 150 more horsepower. It's not here yet. In terms of efficiency, it could be worse. Now, the CT4V gets 20 miles per gallon around town and 29 miles per gallon on the highway. Safety, unrated. We will let you know when somebody crash tests it. Until then, it comes standard with some active safety features. For 800 bucks, you can get Cadillac's Driver Awareness Plus package, which includes things like blind spot monitoring and lane keeping. And finally, for 2021, Cadillac's game-changing Super Cruise semi-autonomous driving system is available. It's better than Tesla's autopilot. It's not on this car. How much? Okay, you can get into a Cadillac CT4V for as little as just under $46,000. You can have this blue beauty right here for a bit under $51,000. But how does that stack up to the competition? Turns out an Audi S3 is a few hundred dollars cheaper in terms of base price, whereas the AMG and the BMW, they're about a thousand dollars more. However, once you account for pricey German options, I think you'll find the Cadillac is a much better value. If there's one thing I want you to know about the 2021 Cadillac CT4V, it's that yes, it is the best compact luxury sports sedan in this segment. I mean, look at the competition, right? The Cadillac is way better looking. The interior is just fine. It makes more power and it is so much better to drive. Again, it's rear wheel drive with the three Germans. They're based on front wheel drive architectures. Look, BMW used to make a big deal about building the ultimate driving machine. Today, in this segment, that's Cadillac. To check out our latest vehicle rankings, go to motortrend.com slash cars.